Hi, welcome to Clinic Sources Micro Training Videos. Today we're going to discuss how to delete an invoice that is currently linked to a payment. I'm going to go ahead and log into my clinic and I'm going to navigate to billing just so you can see that I do have an invoice that is created. Uh, the invoice date was 531. The total amount of the invoice, if you look to the right, was 6783. And you can see moving a little bit further to the right that the insurance paid 6783. So if I go ahead and select this invoice by clicking on it and select the garbage can at the top, and it's going to ask me if I'm sure to delete the invoice, I'm going to say, okay, but you'll notice I get a warning at the bottom or an error that there's payments applied to treatments on this invoice that must be deleted before the invoice can be deleted. So we have to remove the payment essentially. To do so, I'm going to go to payments. I have my payment here of the 6783. When I select it, you can do one of two things. Up at the top, you can click the garbage can and actually delete the remittance or this payment. Deleting the payment will allow you to delete the invoice. The most common way is not to delete the payment because you're going to delete all records associated with the payment, meaning you'll delete the check number, the pay date, the amount, etc. Down below, you'll have treatments applied to the remittance, and you can see the date of service, 531, for that patient. That's the one I need to remove or disassociate. To do so, if I click the garbage can to the left of that treatment, I can actually disassociate the payment from that date of service. The date of service comes back up to the top, and you'll see my running balance at the top just goes to a positive balance now, 6783. I haven't allocated the funds. I can save this payment and it maintains the records for the payment. So if I go to my remits, you can actually see my check number is still here, my payment still here, but that payment still has a positive balance. So I have a record that I can reallocate later on if I so choose. In billing, you'll notice that when I look at the invoice itself, the invoice total goes back up to 100, the original invoice amount, and off to the right, the insurance paid says zero. Now that there's no payment associated to this invoice, I can go ahead and select the invoice, click the garbage can at the top, it'll give me the warning if I'm sure I want to delete it, click OK, and it's gone. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you.